uploading this vlog. I have to edit the details and all that kind of stuff. I didn't do that yet. But it should be up on time, which is I've been putting it up on Saturday morning around 7 a.m. So I'm just going to finish that up and I'll probably head to bed with my iPad and continue drawing that um, illustration, the vending machine one. So I'm just cooking downstairs. link to the previous vlog. Good morning. You are on top of a very skinny paper towel roll and hopefully you don't fall. Um, it is Saturday, August the 10th and we are doing a family thing today so I don't think I'll be able to vlog uh, once we're out the door until maybe tomorrow. I don't know how late we'll be back home but I just got ready for the day. Um, we had breakfast and I'm gonna make my coffee. I didn't make my coffee yet um, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so it's a whole day family stuff. I'm going to see uh, my niece, so it'll be fun because I got the iPad. And whenever we see her, she plays this game called Tokoboka, which is so cute. It's a kid game, but I have downloaded it myself, and I was playing it a couple nights ago uh, for a, a few like days, like a few nights. I was just playing it, and yeah, it's basically a kids game. It's really cute. If you just want to check it out, we show it because it's so cute. Um, yeah, so she plays this game called Tokoboka and I just sit and watch her play. She loves it when I just sit and watch her play. But maybe we'll play together on my iPad. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm excited for that. But, yeah, I'm gonna make my coffee and play with a guy who is playing by himself right now while I make my coffee. I got ready while he was playing, so that's really good of him. Very nice of him. But yeah, alright, coffee. We're doing instant coffee today because we have run out of Nespresso pods again and now that I am back to work I might um, I might do a big restock because I actually have money coming in now I mean I had money coming in for my maternity leave but uh, I, I wanted to make sure I didn't use them up so now that I have work again I'll probably do a big restock of some Nespresso pods yeah we only have this one left which is like a double espresso sunny almond vanilla, vanilla that you put over ice and it's okay um i haven't really used i, I bought two of these leaves because the flavor was very nice but um it's very strong so i only have that left what is making that sound I'm running out of batteries or glitching out out of batteries <laughs> that's funny what's work? oh now it's working here you go I think it stopped kitchen <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> he's smiling you don't usually hear that huh Good. Yeah. Yeah. That part's right here. It's 10.30. I'm in my studio, obviously, and I put 
the guy down a little earlier today because I'm sure once we get to my boyfriend's parents place he is not gonna nap at all so he should get a nap if he can he usually goes to, goes for his first nap around 12 or 1 so I'm definitely pushing it earlier but he seems to be asleep it took a little bit of coaxing so but at least he'll get maybe hopefully an hour but I'm just gonna refine this sketch and then do the base watercolor layer for so I know I get I so I know it started make her head slightly bigger Here's the base. Uh, look how puffy that is. So I gotta let that dry completely. Uh, should be ready for me tonight. That's good. I actually didn't end up drawing anything on the iPad last night. My boyfriend and I just hung out and then we went to bed. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm wearing my egg earrings that I got for my birthday from my friend. I finally busted them out. I thought it would be appropriate since we're visiting our um, niece and nephew today and they're little kids so i thought they might have a kick out of that they always comment on my earrings i wore my skeleton mermaid earrings and my witch earrings at one point once and they always notice so it's cute <laughs> little coffee with a Nespresso espresso pod that I took from work it's like really small so it's a very small amount of coffee well it's an espresso and then I put a bunch of milk and ice and in this tiny little pickle jar that I saved no this wasn't a pickle jar this was a lemon uh, curd jam jar that I kept cute I need a tripod <laughs> Finish your pancake, please. Oh. It's so dark. 
Hi. I changed into my outfit for the day and I'm gonna do my makeup here while he finishes his last piece of pancake. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this. Um, I got it for my birthday. It's a new little bag. I've been using it as a makeup bag, but it's just like a little cute little bag. The zipper, it says our sardine can, and it's got my makeup in it. I don't know if I showed that, but it's cute. And it has this little tab. So I just fully wrapped my head around the fact that it is August. And August for me has been one of the... Like, it's one of the busiest months in my year. I just realized it, everybody's birthday is in August. Like, a lot of my family members' birthdays are in August. Uh, a lot of things are happening in August because it's summer, there's festivals, there's markets. I don't have any tables this year in August. Actually, August doesn't have that much, like, art markets, but um, there are markets that I go to to attend for fun. We visit friends because summer... So yeah, it's one of the busiest months and I was thinking like the next couple, up until the end of August, it's going to be very busy for me. So I was like, maybe I should just tell the vlog that I'm going to take the rest of August off vlogging wise. But like it's too late. It's already mid-August by the time this vlog is up. So I'm just going to tank it. And then maybe next year, if I have a better lead up, I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm going to take August off. Because... This guy's birthday is in August. He's one year old in just a couple of days or just a couple of weeks and it's kind of insane. I'm, we're planning it to do like a little get together, just intimate, close family. Nothing too big because he won't even remember, but he'll have his first cake. So like that's my first time planning this kind of stuff and it's making me a little bit stressed out because I don't want to be a lazy mom, you know? I want to celebrate his birthday. He won't remember it, but I would like to do that for myself. And then, so yeah, it's it's a busy month. So I'm just going to tank it for this month. And then, like I said, maybe next time, next year, I'll have a better warning. But we'll see how much vlog footage I get this week because I don't remember vlogging that much before this clip. So... This QO blush is so good. I'm running out. I've hit the bottom of it. I've just been sticking my brush into it. Oh, but I bought another one, but I'm gonna use this up. You can actually use this for your cheeks and also for your lips. I've just been using it for my cheeks. Hey, can you finish that pancake you have in your hand? It's been in your hand for like 20 minutes. You seem to be enjoying it, but... <laughs> all done i just realized i was filming myself putting on foundation and powder please don't judge me if i'm doing it wrong <laughs> that's how i do it but anyway that's it all right you're done your pancake let's clean you up okay can i wipe your face please we are on our second coffee for the day Will I regret this? Probably not. Anyway, painting.
Good morning. It is Saturday, August 17th, 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, yeah, it's today. <laughs> it's my weekend. So uh, the boy is sleeping right now for his first nap. Uh, today's going to be a busy day because we are hanging out with some friends in the afternoon. We are dropping the boy off at my mom's and then we're gonna go hang out with friends we're going to go to this place i think i've been i've vlogged this a long time ago before it's a place called activate basically like um a place where you there's lasers and stuff and you jump around there's different kind of games uh, so we're gonna go to that at four o'clock we're gonna drop him off around 2 30 go hang out with friends there at four o'clock and then we're gonna have dinner i believe and then we're gonna pick up the boy so once we're out of the door I'm probably not going to be able to vlog. I don't think I can bring my camera to activate, which is kind of sad because it's it's like a full physical kind of activity. So I don't want to be lugging my camera around. And as you saw last week, I wasn't able to upload a vlog. I did film vlog clips, but I was not able to sit down and edit them together or film enough. So uh, we're going to have hopefully an extra long vlog this time. So I'm just going to vlog throughout the rest of the week and then upload that on Saturday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed at least a little bit the last video, which is mostly like a real-time sketch on Procreate. So, But today, while the guy is asleep and there is a little bit of downtime, I'm going to go over there to my painting table and work on that cat mom that I uh, am redoing. So <laughs> we're going to work on that. Unfortunately, it's a very humid day today. It's rainy, gloomy and humid and hot it sucks <sighs> so i really don't like humid heat i would prefer dry heat or i would prefer it to be fall temperatures right now i i'm not a summer person i really hate the summer um like i don't like it by the time in canada by the time like we're in deep with winter i do miss the warmth but i would just like to have maybe like two months worth of summer which is basically what we have because most of the time it's winter here anyway i'm gonna work now and um, maybe i'll film a little bit of it we'll see this table is actually occupied because i was working on um the baby book i haven't touched the baby book in a long time look at this whole pile of stuff just photos and um i'm still i'm drawing his baby book and I haven't had the chance to sit down and do it, so I've just left all the art journaling stuff here so I can work on it. Um, he is turning one in a week, so in a week and a couple of days. So I'm just like, I should really work on that baby book, and I just haven't had the time to. So uh, before all the memories disappear, I would like to make some headway on his baby book. It's kind of funny thinking about the baby book because I'm putting a lot of effort on it. And if we do decide to have another kid, I'm just like, am I going to put the same amount of effort? I'm going to try my best to because I love, I'm, I really love looking back on memories. I love old photos. I love like, I just love scrapbooks and I want to create that for my son. And I tried to do that for myself. But because of the vlogs, it's kind of too much. Like I did the doodle calendar for a while, but because I'm also vlogging, I guess that's my way of keeping memories instead of scrapbooking. I'm going to reserve the scrapbooking for my son, um, which also I'm also part of his memory. So it's kind of nice to look back on it. Anyway, back to painting. <laughs> Fingers and toes. Breakfast is toast with cream cheese and tomato, some omelette with parmesan, and some banana. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Good afternoon. It is now 3.30 on Sunday, August 18th. I don't know if I vlogged yesterday. I think I did. I mentioned that we were going to go to Activate, and we did. It was pretty fun. Uh, we went there, and... Um, we had dinner afterwards and now it's today so uh, this week has just been very very busy uh, there's just a lot going on that I haven't really had the time to kind of sit down and work on some art stuff and that's why there wasn't a vlog out I wasn't I didn't have time to sit down and edit the video and the the week upcoming is also gonna be very busy I'm gonna be celebrating we are gonna be celebrating our guys 
first birthday so just a little kind of family get together and that's pretty much it but i still need to prepare for that uh, yeah so it's it's gonna be busy it's been raining the last couple days uh today is another thunderstorm yesterday was a big thunderstorm um, lots of rain there's been flooding certain parts of like the city so it's kind of insane seeing some of the videos come out of that just flooded streets crazy uh, my boyfriend had to drive through all that yesterday which was kind of stressful but uh we were alive we're here <laughs> so 3 30 now and i was just working on a couple things just the past 15 minutes i sent off some sticker designs and some acrylic charm designs with the company that contacted me almost like <laughs> a month ago <laughs> Uh, so we'll see where that goes and if it is a thing that happens, I'll be able to have some charms and stickers for my tabling. I have a table coming up in September and also one in November, I believe. Uh, very small markets, so that would be great. Uh, and also, if it works out with this company that contacted me, uh, I'll be able to show them to you guys in a video. So yeah, that's quite exciting. Um, the designs I sent off, I'll put it over here. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's gonna, if I'm gonna get it, if they're gonna approve what I requested. But I requested this for the charm, which is the eating food um, animation that I did recently. And I also requested it as a sticker, a clear background sticker. So we'll see where that goes. Hopefully they say yes, and then they send it to me, and that'd be really cool. Uh, so I was working on that and now I, I'm going to pivot over to the painting and hopefully see if I can start editing the vlog get ahead of it. I would really like to finish that painting though because it's been my I really wanted to have a painting every week <laughs> so we can get this zine started but so but yeah it's just been difficult and just finding some time but it's just because August is so busy so uh, by the time maybe October rolls around, it'll be less busy. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's move over to the painting table. here I'm working on the painting I have this as my guide of not how to mess it up and yeah so I'm trying to be a bit more mindful and intentional about my um, color penciling here or my pencil coloring here and uh, yeah it's going okay so far I started with like this slate gray color all for her fur and then I'm gonna go over it with a black color pencil but yeah, it's um, the key I find is to make sure my pencil is sharpened. But so I'm just working on this. I feel like the vlog is going to be full of clips of this one, <laughs> which I'm like, I don't want that to happen because I, I rejected that drawing. But it's I think it'll be good to show failures when I'm working on art. I tend to not show a lot of my sketching and a lot of my rougher uh, stuff that I go through with my paintings and stuff. I reject a lot of paintings and I try and try again. I'm not sure if that shows through some of my past work where or past vlogs where I've attempted to draw something and then it failed and then I would toss it out. It would either just be, I would just show the process of when I've actually gotten it right but yeah a lot of rejection happens a lot of failures happen so we'll see if this one fails again um but i don't know we'll see i just don't want the colors to be muddy again like that one i just feel like i use too many uh color pencils i also have three or four different brands of color pencils in my mess of um 
pencils here so if i mix too many different brands the colors don't work well together because they're of different formulas right so they just don't meld well so i'm trying to make sure uh, for her fur i'm just using strictly prismacolor i do have these stadler pencils that are uh, triangular in shape i really like these these are really quite good um, but they don't work well that they don't work that great with prismacolor so i'm just trying to stay, stay away from them for now but yeah, that's what I'm working on and then hopefully I get to vlog a little bit more before the end of the, the day. I work again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I would like to get my nails done. Like I would like to paint them before the week starts because it's going to be a busy one. I don't want to keep saying that I'm busy because everybody is busy, you know. I don't want to sound like a whiny B word. I'm just gonna keep working on this and then I'll update you guys because I feel like I've filmed enough of this. It's about an hour or so later, so I thought I'd show you an update. There you go. Uh, I still have more to work on the background, a little bit of um, cleaning up and then the mouse as well. So yeah, it looks a lot better. She kind of looks like a skunk with this white streak here, but it's looking way better. I feel like her fur needs a little bit more filling in but better uh it's a big improvement from the previous one so oops what's that on our face yeah i am gonna go shower now it's pretty early i usually shower at night but i'm just gonna get it over with today Good morning. It is 7.47 on Monday, August 19th, and I'm about to head out to catch my bus for work, but I was going to make a coffee on the way because I feel like it's slightly chilly this morning, which is really nice, so I would like to bring a coffee. I just need my mug. Mug. I prepped some French toast for the boy, so I just covered it with this lid. I don't know. I'm not sure when he'll wake up, but at least that's ready. I gotta show you the Nespresso pod restock. So it's a mess in here, but there's that. Um, this is organized sort of for, for us. <laughs> anyway, I really like their flavored coffee. So I have, I bought some caramel, coconut, and then the pecan is here for some reason. It should be here, but this is just like a regular coffee coffee, Stormio. This is a maple pecan flavor. Uh, it's like a uh, seasonal so it's limited stock so I wanted to try it maple pecan really cute um, design on that too uh, Mexico which is also like a regular coffee and then this is roasted hazelnut and then this is just a bunch of teas and stuff that we have some <laughs> formula that we got on, in the mail as a free sample anyway And then at the bottom here are our stuff that doesn't fit up in the cabinet. So I bought a bunch of roasted hazelnut because my boyfriend and I really love roasted hazelnut. Um, more of just regular coffee coffees, Mexico, El Salvador, Audacio. Um, and then because I got so many pods, they gave us this like taster set. So it comes with different flavors that we've already tried before, but it's cool to have if guests are over. Um, I don't think I've ever tried... Actually, I've tried all of these. I've never really tried actually the the, the, ca the caffeinato because it's decaffeinated a little bit. And um, since I'm drinking coffee, I don't really care for decaf. Anyway, that's it. And then their bags are now black. So, so yeah, that's our coffee restock. I'm gonna make a maple pecan for this morning. Grab a pod. Oh, I need a cup. I'm going to put a cup first, so, because my, my uh, thing is too tall. Also, I've used this from yesterday, which is totally fine. I put this candle here so it doesn't fall over. <laughs> I should really do this over the sink. Okay. Wait. I gotta go, like, now, now. A couple minutes to grab the bus. I forgot my lunch.
actually colder outside than I thought. I should have worn an extra sweater, but I wasn't sure. Email time. It's now 1.40 in the afternoon and my work staples order came in. I ordered um, these headphones because I need some for work. And I didn't really, I was bringing my headphones from home and I didn't like lugging it back and forth so I buy them for work which is, I didn't buy it myself, it's my work paid for it. <laughs> this is hard to open. <gasps> Wait. Are these children headphones? Why do they look so tiny? <laughs> okay. Um I think they are. Oh that's funny. I don't know if you can see that, but they look really small. Is it just me? I mean, I don't mind. But they look really tiny compared to... Uh, it doesn't say children's headphones. I did go to the clearance section of Staples. So they had these on clearance from 34 to like 14 or 20 bucks. I don't think they're, they're just weird looking. Okay, so there. What's your name? Hello. Oh, no. Oh. Let's pair them up. So look how tiny they are in my hands. I guess I'm just used to my the ones I have, the Sony ones, but it works. It's about 2.15, I gotta pump milk. Pumped about 50 mils. I don't make that much nowadays and I only pump once a day when I'm at work and then when I'm home, I breastfeed on demand depending on when the baby wants to, but yeah, I used to be able to pump like 100 mils per boob. Now this is from both, so it's fine. I'm slowing down anyway. I'm going to start weaning soon once um, uh, he sees, my baby sees his doctor for his one-year checkup. And we're going to ask the doctor about what to do about weaning. I Technically, you can breastfeed until your baby's three, but because I'm working, uh, I just need to stop soon, but... I just need to keep up with this until weaning time, so I'm going to put this in the fridge now. We're doing a second coffee today because I need it.
The office milk has gone bad, so I'm gonna get some. <laughs> we need it. Milk acquired. Oops, spilled some. Hello, it's been a busy day. It is Tuesday, August 20 at 5.15 in the afternoon already. Um, and just now I just got to my desk. Um, I sent a couple emails. I just applied, well, one email. I applied for the an artist market uh, for November, I believe, November or December. I applied for that. I don't know if I'll get into it. And then I also sent an email. You know how I mentioned there was a company that contacted me for charms and uh, and stickers. So I sent off um, a design and they sent over a proof. I'll show you the proof. I'll show it to you on my phone because uh, I don't want to go to my computer and show it to you on screen there. So I'll try and see if I can show it to you on my phone. There's just one issue with one of the stick with the sticker. So. But yeah, this is what this is gonna look like. So it's a double-sided acrylic charm uh, of the food thing. You see that? So that's the idea. And then I have the, that's gonna be the attachment. I'll talk more about the company once I receive the actual stuff, if I do end up receiving it. But yeah, it's a food. It's the food um, animation acrylic charm, double-sided color. And then the sticker, I went with the same design. It's a kiss cut like that, and it's transparent. So we'll see how that looks like. Transparent, the only issue I found here was that the egg looks like it doesn't have the white. It just looks gray and it might be transparent. So I sent off a, a question about that, if they can fix that. I checked my file and the egg white actually has the white. So I'm not sure why it's not showing in this one. So that's it. Well, I'll send, I'll update you guys once I receive more about it, but it looks like they are in a completely different time zone. They get back to me at like 3 a.m. in the morning. So yeah. So last night I finished the Cat Mama illustration. I think this is how far I'm gonna go. I don't wanna push it too much. So I'm gonna scan that, see how that looks. And I also quickly worked on the next idea. It's teeth again. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know if you can see that, but it's a guy. He's a molar. He's a, he's a tooth man with a tooth head. I wanna see how it turns out. Um, with the colors I'm thinking obviously white and red pink a black so and I'm not sure if I'm gonna add more to the background or just gonna keep the background kind of like oh maybe it should be a mouth but yeah that's the next sketch so I'm gonna work on this a little bit more um, continue editing the video the vlog uh, so I feel a little bit burnt out so I'm trying not to get past um, the point of just being so tired i just noticed there's stuff on my desk it looks like paint so i'm looking up weird anyway um yeah i feel a little burnt out so i just don't want to get too burnt out <laughs> august why do you do this to me okay i'm gonna continue with the drawing feeling quite burnt out just because uh, work baby art cleaning the house just keeping up with the chores because if you don't keep up with the chores this house is just gonna be a pigsty <laughs> and that goes for both my boyfriend and I both of us are on the same boat slightly easier when I wasn't working, but now that I'm back to work, it's been good though that um, our son, our little guy, has been very good. I don't want to jinx it, but he's been a really good boy. He only gets fussy when thing is, something is bothering him, when he's hungry, when he's sleepy, but other than that, he's been pretty pretty good it's just he's a lot of work <laughs> I don't know about the shape of the guy of the molar man or of the, the tooth guy himself but 
he looks too cute. I want him to look creepy even though around him is already gonna be creepy. I'll show you one sign. As I said, the sketch was done, but I think I wanted to add a little bit more. And make his head a little bit smaller. Increase the, the creep factor, you know? Here is the sketch. It's very, very simple. I really want to focus on um, just the background and the molar man himself or the tooth man himself. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm gonna do my wash now. So it can dry in time. I'm gonna do probably just a red wash. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry now, and I think I'm gonna try and draw on my iPad, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can draw on my iPad on the Wacom or the Cintiq. Do I have a charge? Yeah, it's 100%. Oh, speaking of my Cintiq, the other day as I was working here, I touched this part of my Cintiq. I rarely touch my Cintiq. I don't even use the buttons on the side here. Um, but I, wait, let me turn it off actually and unplug it so I can show you what's going on. So, you see that, the back of my Cintiq, there is a shiny spot here. It's sticky and there is a crack. I've never dropped my Cintiq before, but there is a crack here and I don't know where that came from. I never stepped on this. I don't know what happened, but... I just noticed it this week, it was sticky, so I wiped most of the residue off, but there's um, a crack and it's sticky, and it still functions well, but I feel like it might be like a power core issue. It doesn't run on batteries, it's attached to a power cable, uh, which is on this side, so I haven't really looked it up yet, I just noticed it, I just don't have the time to kind of research it or figure it out right now, and I don't want to think about my Cintiq dying yet. I mean, I bought this thing probably 2014 2015 so it's very it's old but it works fine it's just i don't know what this is it's prob i feel like it's age it's just breaking down like the plastic is breaking down or something or there's some power issue but i don't know and i don't like it it's scary let me show you a like it's a closer look i zoomed in here so this is the crack like I've never squeezed this part hard and it's all like oily and sticky. So I don't know if anybody's encountered this. I'm sure I can look it up and figure out what's what out uh, what's going on. But it's only been it's only stayed in this stand, so I don't know what this physical damage is. <laughs> Okay, just working on my iPad. You guys really did not like <laughs> the Procreate sketching video. Nobody really watched it, which is fine. That's what I expected. But I did get a couple of tips from the people who left comments. Um, so I have enacted those and I'm going to try the other one about references. Thank you so much for leaving me tips in that video if you did. I'm gonna check out the reference one because I want to reference colors instead of going back and forth. Let's see. The eraser size larger, use that, that's great. Thanks for the tips, man.
here. Turn it off. Off. Hello. It is Thursday, 1.30 in the afternoon, August 22nd. And I was just working at my desk, finishing up the root guy. I mean, the, the tooth guy. And I hate it. <laughs> it's another one of those illustrations where I had the idea, but the planning and the execution was rushed so i was rushing to get it done and i would like to do it again so let me show you the fail so i feel like okay yeah um there's no other it's supposed to be in the mouth right and he's growing out and then the teeth on the other areas are not there like it's rotted out even though the gums look healthy uh but i don't think it like really shows that and when i showed my boyfriend um, he said it looked like Groot, the character from the Marvel movie. Uh, forget. Guardians of the Galaxy, that, that, the tree guy, he looks like Groot because of the shape of his head. And I was like, you're right. So, I like the idea. I'm gonna execute it again. Um, spend a little bit more time sketching it out instead of jumping right in. Because the sketch was so quick. I think you saw me sketch it and then immediately I was like, this is it. So, I don't like it. I like the idea a lot, like I said, but I just find... And then this thing right here behind him is supposed to be the tongue. Um, and then I did put a little bit of yellow in him so he wasn't like the perfect tooth. But again, he just is too too thin, like, like too narrow, looks too much like Groot. And the other thing I don't like is how asymmetrical he is. And I'm not intending to be... I'm not intending the illustration to be symmetrical. It just looks so asymmetrical, especially when I'm filming it right now for myself. So, yeah, that's, that's a fail. Wow, two fails in this vlog. So, I don't know. I mean, I know, I don't like it. What do you guys think? I do like... Um, I went with uh, a heavier blend of Prismacolors. I used, I used mostly Prismacolors for this one. So I blended the background a bit, uh, quite a bit, and the tooth quite a bit with white and gray. Um, and then the pinks, obviously, I added a little bit of peach. So I just really like how the colors turned out. Um, but I just don't like the execution. So the background too is, I feel like, needs to be a little bit more thought out. The whole piece needs to be more thought out. So. I'm gonna redo this. I'm gonna keep the illustration though. I'm gonna put it in my portfolio to probably sell if anybody wants it, but yeah. I'm just gonna restart it and then I'm gonna edit the vlog. So um, the boy has been asleep for about an hour now and I'm sure he's gonna wake up soon and we're gonna have to have lunch. So I'm just gonna get started on the vlog edit. I've already started, but I'm gonna uh, plug away a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna post the mama cat i like posting the illustrations just to see what people think about it uh before i make it into a zine i still intend to do that it's just creating the illustrations for that zine or or colored book is just taking long because i just time is kind of you know shifting for me but let's do a thumbnail no <laughs> that's funny anyway fail here's a closer look so yeah see the police is coming for it you're under arrest Groot I'll try and zoom in the face Yeesh. all right let's do a very very quick um voiceover segment on this uh character that i drew a second time with the crazy teeth uh, you saw some of the process of this the sketching and inking process in the previous video that i uploaded the procreate sketching which didn't do very well as i expected um so yeah here is i guess the full time lapse video i always forget how quick the actual time lapse videos are coming out of procreate so anyway uh here's the very rough 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 sketch as you as i've said i really like how it turned out the first one i still i, th I still 
like more than this one and I don't know if I'm gonna, con gonna continue drawing her I might I just really wanted to draw the imagery from the dream that I had um, and it's basically these two things the tooth coming out of the front top gum and then this like hole filled with teeth oh I didn't end up actually putting the little angel wings on her I was going for like a 90s kind of vibe. I think I mentioned it, the necklace that she's wearing. I had, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But as a kid, I had this little resin stone and inside was like a tiny crab. I think it was like a real life crab that is obviously dead and they put resin over it. I loved that and I had it for a while, I think. I kept it with me. It was just like one of... You know, when you were a kid and you had a couple toys that were just so... Um, you just remember them so vividly and you hold them dear to your heart. That was one of them. I really liked that dead crab. <laughs> and from then on, I really liked resin. Um, animals encased in resin like that. It, I don't know, it's weird. Especially bugs or little crustaceans. Shells, not so much, but any like crab. I just really love just there's there they are such a part of my childhood i don't know where that went it's probably gone somewhere but that's why i drew that necklace it reminded me of that so doing the coloring thing it was pretty easy because they're just very flat colors and i just used the tip that somebody left about putting up a reference on your um on your screen so i just basically you know i dropped the color so it was pretty easy uh but yeah, here is that character. I hope you like it. My boyfriend hates it. I was drawing it right beside him and he's like, please, I don't want to see that anymore. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh no, hello ring light. So, um, apologize for the way I look. I showered and I put moisturizer on and then my, I tried to curl my bangs. When my bangs get too long, I want to curl them inward like this. Anyway, um, so yeah, apologize for my look, but the video is basically done. But I wanted to kind of stretch this vlog to an hour because I promised I would have a longer vlog uh, this week because I didn't post one last week. So I thought I would share the progress so far on all the illustrations. I basically pulled out all the illustrations that I've been working on. So let's do a little showcase. And I'm also going to show you some works in progress that I've kept in a pile right beside me. Uh, they haven't I haven't really posted them. I've posted a little like pictures on my Instagram story now and again, but um, I thought I'd share it It'll be kind of like a sketchbook flip through but not in a sketchbook because I don't keep one I, I've been trying I try but I don't have I don't really have a sketchbook um, So let's start with the illustrations one one note good thing I pulled them out because my first few ones were tiny like they were supposed to be posted size and now they have become larger. So I think I have to go back to the original sizing. Okay, uh, there's no particular order and I think a couple of these were sold. I don't remember which one, so okay, let's start with the, um, the alphabet one. Okay, it's not going to be in any particular order, but I feel like this was the first one that I drew. And you've seen these already if you follow me on my socials, my Instagram. And I also put a couple of these on my website. So this one was the pumpkin with a little cat. I really like this one. Love it. Uh, this one, which is bigger, the snake lady. Uh, titled this one fairy, I think, because there's a fairy on the scarecrow's shoulder. Hopefully it's not too blurry here. I like this one a lot. This one is like, I was supposed to be like a sleep paralysis demon or something. Why is it getting blurry? Yeah, there's that one. This creepy clown next, if I can pick it up. Well, creepy clown. He's supposed to, oh yeah, he was supposed to be like Dracula because he has that like cape and then he has fangs. So I like that. <laughs> and the most recent one, the cat mom. Mom, this is a rejected one. I didn't like how it turned out, but I'm going to keep it to sell as an original. And this one. I like this one as well. One of my faves. This one was like autopsy. 
you know what, I'm just gonna pile them, it's easier. And then the Satyr one with the skin. This is also a rejected one that I did not end up liking, so a lot of these rejected ones were for execution. So that's that, that's the one I have. I think I sold the Headless Wolf one, and I don't remember the other one. I know I remember I sold two, but I don't remember what the other one was. I'll, I'll flick through my Instagram. Okay, let's look at the sketches now. Okay. Different angle this time. Uh, so again, no particular order, and it's also just kind of a mess. Oh wait, there was one more thing I wanted to show. Let's do it last. Let me grab it. Okay, uh, we'll do this last. All right, so remember those ladybugs? Uh, yeah. I was planning to make them into a sticker sheet. There's drawn ones here somewhere, and they're also posted all on they're all posted on my Instagram. But these cute little ladybugs painting. So yeah, I think these are the. I scanned them and then I traced them with the, the the pen that I wanted. So yeah, here. And I would check mark the ones that I wanted to keep. None of these here, but yeah, there's that. This is also a good excuse to clean up my pile. I don't know if I mentioned that my pile was such a mess. It's just always bothering me. Um, and then remember this character I drew last October, I guess, last Halloween. I just really wanted to draw a quick comic and like a loose one. So these are all on my Instagram. Most of these are, I'll let you know if they are not. But yeah, this character. She was still supposed to be like kind of creepy or something or just a little weird these are two comics or zines that i wanted to do but i just don't have time to finish them they are ideas so this one was supposed to be a small one because i haven't done a small zine in so long and it's called to summon a fairy the idea for this one was it would open up so i drew the idea like i, I wrote everything down that i wanted so it would open up like this and then you'd open it up like this read that and then there would be a big illustration right here with some text so anyway that was an idea i wanted to do and then that's just the date i usually date my stuff so i i finished this idea in 2023 but i did not execute it so it's to summon a fairy open it up uh you it's like plant wildflowers uh, add thorny greens is what it says fruiting trees and and I can't even read and below they'll dance and below they'll come to dance after some rains the way I write is so messed up I can't even figure it out and below they'll dance come to after some rains <laughs> sometimes when I write what I want um, I, when I write something I just kind of write it everywhere to make sure I have the idea down before I lose it. So now I can't read it. I'm sure I'll make it out, but with holes for them to hide in. Okay, I wanted to write that. They'll come to dance below. Round rings that appear on dewy grass. Okay, okay I crossed that out. I don't know why. I didn't want those, though I don't know why you'd want them around. I'm told where fairies reside, children are lost and never found. And then I wrote it again. I'm I'm told where fairies are found, you will be caught in a promise. That sounds so stupid. So I really like, I guess I like the first one. I'm told where fairies reside, children are lost and never found. So I would draw like, I don't know, like a skull or something. But I really, uh, you know, it's such a, I don't know when I can work on this because I'm like working on other projects. But yeah, there's that. And then this was a little zine. The cover was supposed to be just ignore her, but just this. Uh, and then I drew, there's gonna be something here, like a flower. And then this lady says, you're blooming. And then she plucks a petal and then flip the page. And then she gets called Anna, I guess is her name. And then she goes in, she notices there is some um, uh, like a pitcher of juice ready for more for a guest and then she says mom are we expect gets cut off because she opens the door and then she sees somebody here and then her mom says uh, oh there you are come meet our new neighbor and then the new neighbor was supposed to be like a bee <laughs> that's mad at her for plucking the flower <laughs> or something that was the idea sort of uh, or it was like a suitor 
that she wasn't expecting that her mom was trying to hook her up with and he's just like I don't know weird or something like a flower guy who knows but yeah that was that uh, this is basically just a sketch I kind of like how that looks so I kept it and then remember these these are this is actually made its way into a sticker sheet that I was saving if ever I went back into using patreon but apparently patreon is going through some issues again so maybe i'll go coffee but i don't know when i do intend to do stickers again like a sticker club i just don't know when just because i'm still figuring out work life balance so i don't want to jump into anything without being sure or being at least or having an idea a clear idea about what's going on in my life but yeah i really would like to get back into it because I just love the sticker stuff or just creating something every month okay so there's that oh and here are the little some of them at least I think the little ladybugs you can see all of these scanned and cleaned up on my Instagram oh, this was the sketch for that uh, drawing kept that remember the raccoons I worked on that are never gonna see anything they're just they were just for fun I guess uh, there's somewhere i kept the sketch because i liked this idea even though it is very unclear what it actually is i just liked how um the idea of like titty horns so i kept that <laughs> this was a drawing that failed if you remember that i guess i could show you hold on let me grab it here it is another failed illustration so that's where that idea came from and then just random I don't know sphinx ah uh, remember this girl I also want to draw her or paint her that was the first idea sketch and then this is the second more cleaned up uh, yeah so that's in my pile because it's works in progress oh and this let me do this last ah here's another idea here's another comic that I need to finish so you guys are seeing the behind the scenes here I don't know if you can read that uh, $3.98 per pound of avocados I have no choice rip a bag it's been too long put it in bag y'all better be worth it these are my thoughts because avocados have been pricey lately and then this was supposed to be like a montage of creating an avocado toast or preparing at least and then slicing it open I think I posted this on an Instagram story it open and then when she opens it or at least it's supposed to be me when I open it there's a fairy that pops out uh, and then the fairy's like thank you for freeing me I will grant you three wishes uh, I just blink blink but before I I do there are rules to gets interrupted what did you do um look at the butt <laughs> um and uh, where's the next sheet? Where's another drawing here? I know where to go. Hold on, let me find it. What did you do? I guess I didn't draw it. I just uh, know what's going on. But basically... Oh, where'd it go? There was another sheet. Hold on. My memory is wrong. I guess I never drew it. But the idea was uh, she opens the, up the avocado and then the fairy pops out and She's just mad that the avocado is fucked up because he's been like living in it. So there's like, it's messy in there. There's poop, there's pee. And he, she's just like, what did you do? And she's just really mad because she bought very expensive avocados and this very just up and ruined it even though she could wish for more avocados. So that was another comic that I did not finish. And I don't know, I think I posted some of these, some more raccoon drawings. This was done in color pencil. Pretty sure I posted them on a story. I really like the one eating the hot dog. So yeah, and the one coloring, so cute. But mm, did do anything with that. Okay, so I was working on a comic that was slow to paint, but here is the paint. It's even still stuck here, and I haven't even touched it. But let me draw, show you the comic. I I don't know if I show this at all anywhere. Maybe the sketch, but yeah, I really wanted to finish this and post it and maybe print it or something I don't know but let's read it together so she's laying down clunk huh 
Anyway, gotta piss anyway. Turn on the light. Huh? I guess the lid fell. Next page. Must have been a, must have been a draft. Hello. Ha ha. Takes off panties. Plonk. Goes piss. Hey, and then the next one is where I stopped painting it. So it's supposed to be, ah, what the hell? Do you mind? Says the voice from the toilet. And then she's like, what the fuck? And then the toilet says, uh, the voice from the toilet says, it's too bright and I have a killer migraine. Oh, um, what are you doing in my toilet? And then the toilet voice says, do you have an Advil? And then that's it. The sketch continues. It says, I'm suffering. She flushes it. She says, then suffer. I feel like the the um, reading of this is a bit off because I want it to be like, I'm suffering, then suffer, and then flush. But what can you do? No, girl, you'll pay for this. And that was it. A very quick one-shot illustration or comic. And I really like how it's been turning out. I just stopped because I wanted to do something else but I really like how this is doing you know I want my comics to look like this so not a lot of um, panels kind of a loose connection of panels but yeah I really like how this is turning out and like I said I just want my comics to look like this it is a lot of work it takes a lot of time to paint the pages but that's why I stopped but yeah, that's that. I think that's all I have on my desk at least. I have a couple things hidden somewhere in my piles. But I thought that would be an interesting end to the vlog. So you've seen all the things that I've been working on, stopped working on, just threw away, rejected. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't like showing my, my rougher stuff, but yeah. I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Again, sorry for not having one posted last week. It just had to be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I'm gonna fr I'm gonna start filming tomorrow. I'm gonna start editing, finishing up the editing for this one. Start the thumbnail creation and upload just so I don't have to do anything tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we're gonna be busy preparing for my son's birthday so it's just gonna be like a, a small get together with a close family that's it just like my side of the family his side of the family we're gonna have a cake and so we're gonna be cleaning up the house friday night getting ready for stuff on saturday morning so i don't know how much i'm gonna be vlogging but yeah it's gonna be busy so i thought i'd get the vlog out of the way so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one uh, have a good weekend, good night, good morning, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Uh, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Okay, bye.